plug walk. No bitch, no, you ain't my bitch, you up. Run up in the space, the, the club top. You bitch, you ain't even hear my plug top. I'm a plug when I walk. Anyway, just want to say what's up out there to the YouTube world. And I've been working so hard to get this nonprofit legit. I'm trying to do all the paperwork. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. But I got a lot of the paperwork done. And uh, I'm actually very, 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 very proud of the accomplishment so far with the project. I can't believe that um, it's going to happen. I'm going to pull out my Lokes because it's hot in a mug. I usually don't wear sunglasses because, well, I haven't been wearing sunglasses I don't know. Just, just haven't felt like putting them on. My mom got me these. Shots out to my mom. Got me the bands. She got me a real pair of bands. She's like, I'm going to get you something you need. Get you something you like. I'm like, yeah. She's like, you going to like this one. I said, okay. What's it? What is it, mom? She pulled out the Ray Bands. I'm like, yeah, mom. I like those. Bam! Alright, so I'm about to do this beach walk. Plug talk. I can't be smoking and driving no more online because motherfuckers be telling on me. And I'll be getting in trouble. You know? People be calling my job. Talking about this dude out there freaking smoking weed. And walking. That shit is funny, huh? Hey, good looking. Thanks for watching. Uh, you know, I've been real, real spoiled with this YouTube game, you know. I've been lucky. Because I go online. And I'll show y'all what I'm doing, you see. I got to pay for parking here. So, I'm going to pay for this shit. Because I don't want no ticket. But... So every time I go live or something, man, the family shit quick, like real quick, two dollars expired. I want to add more time or so. But yeah, I was trying to say, where my car go? Oh, it's still in that bitch. I put the card in there and just left it. Like if it's an ATM machine or something. Like high already. <laughs> high already. No, I don't need two hours. I don't even need an hour. I need like 30 minutes. But I'm going to give myself like 45 minutes. I'm going to set an alarm for 30 minutes. Hey, fam. The, uh, I can't really see. Let me, no, I'm, I'm gonna fix this then. I can't really see. I need to fix it. There we go. All right, now I can see the, um, the get downs a little better. And then I'm gonna go right here to this get down. And, uh, I think I read a message saying, What beach you at? And this is Santa Monica. Santa Monica Beach. It's not even Santa Monica Beach. It's just like a little, oh yeah, there goes Santa Monica over there. It's just like a little pullover of Santa Monica. But you know, Santa Monica, Santa Monica. Santa Monica bigger than people think. 
people think Santa Monica is just that pier over there. But hell no, Santa Monica is freaking thick. So, uh, basically I wanted to share a couple things on different accomplishments that popped off. Like the nonprofit We Strive is going down. It is really official. I got the domain name. I filed the article of incorporation. Man, that's just a lot of shit. I gotta like how board members, directors. You no. Know, so I'm trying to put like my mom on and my dad. So that way I can forge their signature and just do whatever I need. It's not forge, you know, but I had the the permission. So that way I can just do all the paperwork myself. So look, let me show y'all this crap right here. Little freaking bike riding spot. I think this is where I'm gonna set up Ken. Right here. And then that way I could just chill. You know, and explain my little sitch. Let y'all watch the little the little scenery pop off. And I'll be the one to narrate the situation. But one thing about the about the restrive that I'm happy about is that uh, man, this shit is hard as fuck. You see, that's one thing about YouTube is like I'm learning so much about this this media, which I never wanted to learn. I never cared editing, all that. It's just so much like even just pointing the camera pointing the camera can be challenging it's tough to point the camera so that's why i'm trying today yeah we're about to to stream snipe what's that mean stream snipe Stream snipe, something like that. I'm about to light up this little blunt real quick. I'm lucky best thing. Go, 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 go. Right quick, right quick. Smoke this blunt, y'all. Man, I see a baby over there, a lady with a baby. I probably shouldn't smoke around a lady with a baby. So I gotta be conscious of that type of stuff dealing with y'all. Cause y'all don't be taking no shorts for no losses. Look, she right there, lady with a baby. So I ain't gonna smoke. Ooh, booty. She got the booty out like a motherfucker. And her dude looked at me like, don't be filming my girl's booty. I know you holding your phone like that cause you filming. I'm like, well, I'm not filming, I'm streaming, huh? That's what it is. That's a big difference. I would walk out there to the water, but look at how long this sand is. You know, you go to most beaches and you walk like a hundred feet and you to the sand. This right here is like 200 yards to get to the sand. I mean, to get to the water. I mean, I could go for a walk. But we chilling right here. We chilling. So man, I like I was trying to say, I I be getting lucky with my my first video. Well, not my first video, but my first video that I wanted to like get it out there. I wanted people to see was that Trayvon response to Trayvon video. And uh, man, I, it, it got so much traffic to where I had like a good following from jump. So from jump, I never had issues with, with the numbers game. But then after you start learning more and you start to set expectations is when the number game start to start to fuck with you 
So I'm real lucky because I haven't really got into it, like in terms of trying to uh, set a, a goal and then reach it. Like when people start telling me, hey, you about to get a thousand subscribers, then that's when I started to look like, what's a thousand subscribers? What does that mean? And then I start to learn about, you know, monetizing and things like that. But then I told myself, nah, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to monetize, at least not right now. Okay, at least not yesterday, last week, last month. But there will be a time here in the soon future where I am going to monetize. And that, and whatever money I can make is going to be donated to the nonprofit. You know, because it's all about trying to get this nonprofit to go. And if I can get money from the most, the, the more money I can get, the easier it will be to fund these trips. So if y'all don't know, I'm funding trips to travel the world 100 days. You got to leave for 100 days. Um, it's an experiment. It's an experiment for young people that needs to be inspired. I'm a true believer that traveling, budget backpacking inspires people to, to accomplish all sorts of things. And of course, I haven't found much research that backs that theory. So I'm doing my own research. I'm doing my own experiments. I'm doing my own test and I'm using regular people, but I am trying to, somebody over here bumping. But I am trying to, uh, to, uh, where was I at? I'm testing the theory. I'm experimenting with it. I'm letting, oh, I'm finding individual people test the theory, but I am trying to make sure that there is a possible chance that they'll be a leader. Because of you know you got leaders you got followers, and 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 I think this is a, a test for leaders, an experiment for leaders, potential leaders. Now, how do you root? You know, find out who's a leader, who's a follower. I don't know. I think we all got potential, though. So it's just some people got more potential. Some people got more determination got more what's necessary to to thrive but uh, the good thing is that it's just an experiment and it ain't no winning it ain't no losing I think a, the winning will to have successful safe trips the losing it's maybe if someone dies or something, you know? But, you know, that's just a chance you're gonna take in anything. You could, you could have a, a, a car rental company or a Ferris wheel ride or a, a, a freaking tour company and still have those risks, you know? But as long as you do the paperwork right, you an LLC, or not LLC, but you incorporated, you got the proper general liability insurances, maybe like encourage life insurance. Oh, it's, it's popping out here. Then you have a better chance of being successful for the long haul. And that's what it's all about though, the long haul. You wanna change lives forever, not just for a week or two. And that's, that's, that's the only thing I'm trying to get to. 
is the long-term success, not the short-term. But yeah, I'm real excited. It's going down. Um, I figure by October, I set myself a little mini goal, October. High 60s, nah, it's, it's in the 70s out here. Yeah, we bought the streets type. Yo, man, what's, what's cracking, Dennis? Make money with crypto, what up? Where the fuck you been? Man, I've been busy, dog. I went on vacation this, this uh, not a vacation, you know, like a little staycation. We drove out to uh, Mexico on uh, Friday. So I was in Mexico all weekend. And um, I got back last night. And the week before that, I was just um, working real tough. I got a, got a hold of a couple of big jobs. And yeah, so I was like stuck into that. And then, fuck, I be getting home, I be tired. But at the same time, make money, I did all the paperwork, bro. You're gonna be proud. I got the domain name, .com, like you said. I got the .org. I got the, um, it's actually We Strive INC. W-E-S-T-R-I-V-E-I-N-C dot com dot org. I got the little Facebook. I haven't put nothing up yet, but I just secured the spot. I got the little uh, Instagram. I got the, uh, the, uh, 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 Oh, and most importantly, I, I was going to do the incorporation, the, the letter of incorporation myself. But instead, I just hired LegalZoom to do it, you know, because LegalZoom is freaking easier. You know, they do everything for you. So by doing that through LegalZoom, my bad, I tried to be a fucking a pervert and got stuck but um yeah they don't take your youtube live anyway i see they didn't take your youtube live anyway i see which one oh you know what i noticed as soon as i hit a thousand subscribers if i go live Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't take my mobile YouTube live. Nah, it came right back. The next day, I think I like reset or some shit. And then it popped right back up. Which was dope. Which was dope. Because now I can do videos at the beach. But, nah, I'm not even, you know, I don't really have time to do that many videos right now. But, I gotta make time. Because I thought that, that, that article of incorporation which uh one more paperwork after that is the 503c3 501c3 or whatever it is you gotta file that one which i already started on it and then i learned that you need members you need like four board members in order for it to be legit Man, why she do that messed up the shop but that's what it's all about. What up, level up? Long time, man. I put, it's only been like a week. It's only been a week. But, man, level up. I did so much in this week, bro. I did so much. Uh, things have been freaking amazing. The end is near, not the end, but the beginning is, is, it's the beginning. Why would I say the end? I guess I'll say the end of the, of the paperwork. That's what I'm trying to say. The end of the paperwork is, is, is near. Hell no, paperwork never end. The end of the beginning of the paperwork. There we go. I guess that's what I was thinking about, but almost done with everything. And then, um. So right now, I'm looking for people. I'm trying to find a young person that is willing to, un to undertake the experiment. 
the experiment of freaking traveling for 100 days. What's required to board members? Nothing. I don't think nothing. Um, I need to find out. I just got a phone call this morning from LegalZoom that told me that I need to add two more board members um, to it. And um, I haven't really put any more thought into it besides that. Uh, my mom, I was like, I just use my dad, put my dad down there, put my mom on there, and then um, it'd be done. But um, of course, it'd be dope to have some some real freaking brains on the team you know what I mean to uh, make decisions to make goals to to just help out you know but this is my dream you know so I'm not even like trying to to push that but if someone offers hell yeah I mean I mean, I'm not going to say, yeah, I'll just say, yeah, but I will definitely consider that. I mean, because the more brains, the more help, the better. I know this thing is going to grow. And once it grows, I'm going to need a hell of five staff. But the good thing is there's going to be money. There's going to be money to spend. There's going to be money to share. There's going to be money to trade. And, um. I'm just so thankful that that I really feel like this is gonna happen. Like it's one thing to like to say, you know, I like to talk, right? I like to I like to talk with dreams behind it. So I like to dream, basically. But when it comes down to it, man, I wanna I wanna live those, I want those dreams to come true. I don't want to just say it. I want it really to happen. So the best thing is just to take responsibility, grab it by his horns, put all the paperwork together. And then once the paperwork is together, then you can, uh, then I'll, I think I'll have more I think more people will start to believe and get involved. I have not been missing. I've been gone for one week. What up, Diane? I've been watching your videos. I've seen the EP. Man, I, I guess it's, I'm happy to be back. Now, I'll tell you, I went to Mexico for a few days, wild out out there, did the Airbnb, a little spring break, get down this weekend. And then last week, the whole week I was working tough. I was going in. Things have been slow. So I had to like jump into some work as soon as it came. Jumped into that. And that was that was fun. Made some money. So I went to Mexico, spent some money. Nah, it was just a little, you know. The good thing is. I've, I've learned how to manage, you know. Ying and yang, baby. They got their Ray-Bans on too. Looking fresh. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, I like talking to people, even though they don't talk back all the time. But, uh. Yeah, things is good, Diane. So look, let me run you back through. I know you didn't hear. I got the, um, I filed the article of incorporation for We Strive Inc. Uh, I got the domain name, we strive.org, we strive.com. I did the, the 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 Facebook, the little Instagram. I'm still working on this logo. The last video I put up was for the logo. Um, I got some positive responses from that. 
I didn't get no logos in my inbox though. That's what I was hoping that I just open up my my email and I have like 10 different logos to choose from. But nah, I'm joking. I'm, I'm you know, I was hopeful. I'm still hopeful. I, I'm still, but the thing is, it's like, what I notice is about logos, it's like, man, you got so many options. So many options. Oh, I appreciate it. Yep. You can get logos for like 40 bucks. Yeah, I seen that. I was looking through different websites and uh, I seen that, that Favre or Fever or something like that where you uh, hire these freelancers to make you a logo right quick. I mean, even I can make my own logo, you know, a little software. I made my other logo, my first logo for the heating company. This was like five years ago. I just downloaded Adobe, pirated it through, uh, through torrents. <laughs> downloaded Adobe, played on Adobe for one day. All those options, oh my gosh, that shit was frustrating the hell out of me. But I just sat there and just kept playing with it, playing with it. I was trying to do this like rounded logo with all these round shapes. And I just got frustrated and scrapped it. I'm like, fuck this round shit, I'm going with squares. And the squares just lined up so perfectly and easily. I'm like, yeah, I should have did the squares first. <laughs> but it only took me a portion of the time. But yeah, it's fun. It's exciting. Um, it's it's nerve wracking because it's an experiment. You know, it's all it's a straight up experiment. Like there ain't nothing. There ain't nothing like this ever done. Nothing. I mean, I, I did see a bunch of um, nonprofits and foundations about traveling for education and things like that, but it's more of like a classroom setting. Uh, and it's like, sometimes it's like nationwide, not worldwide. I mean, I, I'm sure there's somebody else who had to try this, but I don't have no no knowledge of it. So it's just like it's some raw test. Like people say, why? Why would why the hell would you try to fund somebody to travel for a hundred days? And then I have to tell them, yo, this ain't freaking staying in resorts. This ain't um staying in and, and, and nice hotels. This is budget packing. This is hostel surfing. This is guest house going halves on a room, taking local buses. That's what I'm talking about. Staying in villages, going to different villages, even um, volunteering or picking up little side jobs you know just to make a little couple extra dollars just to get a free night's sleep just to do little stuff like that she got her her little she, she taking selfies but yes yeah, all about that budget backpacking um, I came up with the budgets and stuff what I thought was realistic budgets a low realistic budget and a mid-range realistic budget a high realistic budget. Uh, I got three different budgets. Most likely we gonna shoot for the middle budget. I think the middle budget is between 15 and $20 a day. And that's in like total expenses for the daily uh, get down. So I'm comfortable with that. I think that'll work. I'm going to have to uh, start to head back. But this is going to conclude our little beach day. I'm going to start to head back to the ride because nigga only got 30 minutes out here today. I only paid for, 50, for 35 minutes of parking. But, um, dear you, got the lokes on the day I had to.
it's so sunny but um, yeah there's a lot a lot of things that I'm not sure about there's a lot of things that I'm still like making up as I go because everything's made up All right? and I just barely started trying to write a business plan out just so I can like apply for funding in different ways you know probably had to get some help with that because I ain't got time to I looked at a grant application and the grant application was like it was long it was long so I'm not really trying to uh, spend a lot of time filling out grant applications because that should it ain't guaranteed either it's a good chance that uh, it ain't gonna work check out the bikes bike rent make they little business right here renting out bikes oh. surfer chicks But uh, I'm chill. It's a nice day for freaking March. We got one day of rain. I think it rained two days last week. Two days. On fucking Thursday and Friday, or Wednesday and Thursday, or something like that. But uh. Oh yeah, Fiverr, yeah. Might sign one for 10 to 20 bucks. Yeah, my bad, Diane. I didn't see that. I got distracted. Um, I can ask my friend who has a traveling blog to post, ask if anyone wants to travel for 100 days at the age range you're looking for. Well, I'm, it, it's important that the person is... I have to like come up with a target, right? I hate to sound like limited. Like I don't want to limit the uh, the geographics of where these people come from. But in the beginning, the experiment is to inspire people who didn't have the resources to be inspired. I really feel like that finances play a big role into our lives and, and what we accomplish and what we don't accomplish. Basically, I'm trying to say, if you grow up poor, it's a better chance that you ain't going to accomplish shit versus if you grew up rich, right? If you look at the... The statistics on people who grew up poor from people who grew up rich. It's a better chance if you grew up rich, you're going to be straight. Or you're going to accomplish a lot of things. And if you grew up poor, more than likely you ain't going to accomplish half of what you accomplish if you grew up rich. But, um... Made it back to the vehicle. Oh, man, it was nice out there. Start getting hot in a mug. You like this one? I remember one time the little homie from Australia. He was telling me. <laughs> It might not be such a good idea for you to influence young people because I always see you doing bad things like smoking weed and drinking. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, you sound like a cop right now. But yeah, that shit was funny. I'm like, how old are you? Homie was like 18 or 19 or something. I'm like, oh my God from Australia. I was like, oh, you got a good heart, homie. I feel you. But, you know, that's just the way things go. But, uh, 
what else would I, I need to touch on? Oh, what else? Any more messages? Gotta go. Oh, all right. Hey, make money with crypto, bro. I appreciate you stopping by. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. But, uh, a lot of traffic out. It's like a summer day out here. But anyway, I just had some time. I just needed to check in and let you guys know where I was at. Things is good. Um, like I said, I feel like I accomplished a lot. I got the ball rolling. The ball is rolling. It ain't rolling downhill, but it's rolling. I mean, it's rolling at a slight grade, but, you know, it ain't a major grade. But October, the low-key go. October, I have my first traveler out there. So, yeah. I know make money with crypto probably ain't here, but I think I want to stress that this has to be somebody that feel like they could have never afford to travel because I think that's what opened my eyes I felt like man I will never be afford I could never afford to travel little did I knew that it was I could always afford to travel it's just a matter of making the sacrifice making the sacrifice hey but um I'm glad I was able to take some time and, and, and touch bases with everybody I've been busy I actually downloaded some software to, to uh, make some videos because I was going to do the article of incorporation online live or something just to show people like hey this ain't that difficult and you can do it too but uh, I don't know I don't know why I didn't do it I was ready to do it. I had everything to do it, but I just didn't do it. But it's done. So, I'll be in touch, y'all. I'm out this piece. About to go get back on the concrete. Get out this sand. I'll see y'all. Peace.